Dark Heart. Alright, so I believe this is the final level. Probably a boss fight. We shall see. Nice if they gave me some, like, health. But I guess not. We know who you are. What is this thing? Invulnerability. Can I just... Damn it. All right, I, I'm just gonna have to like, just completely attack, uh, just open fire. And just try to melt as fast as possible. Because this invulnerability thing is going to give me that ability. So I'm going to start out with like a black hole. And then I'll switch to like other stuff. A soul power up somewhere around here. Because I accidentally hit one last time. Or maybe I just get it automatically. I don't know. Opening portals with giant fists? I do just have, like, infinite ammo. Or, not infinite ammo, but infinite, uh, soul. Interesting. <laughs> no, you shall not fall today. I can't believe that. So, yeah, basically, you just get the invulnerability and just be in soul mode the entire time. Apparently, you have infinite soul. Like, once it runs out, you have another one ready to go, I think. I have to look back, but I'm pretty sure it just fills automatically. Because I thought maybe I just ran into some random soul thing that was sitting there, but nope. I don't think I did. I think it just automatically refills once it's out. So That's what you gotta do, just use all your mana. <laughs> Apparently. And uh, the invulnerability thing will help you stay alive for a decent amount of time and then you gotta be careful once that's done. But anyway, that is the uh, final boss I believe. I believe that's the end Welcome, of the game. Welcome champion. Please, join us. Okay. Is there anything over here? I don't know. 
We are eternally in your debt. You have proven yourself worthy. Thank you, champion. Press fire to end your quest. There we go. So Ice that is the end. We rest, champion. With the evil vanquished, we have restored our sacred lands and returned their inhabitants. You may remain here in our haven, or continue on your journeys. Okay. The universe awaits. Oh, is this supposed to be our character here? <laughs> cool. Alright, so that is the end of <clears throat> a medieval. So Yeah, it was a it was actually a pretty good game. Uh, I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> God damn it. I have like a tickle in my throat. <clears> okay. <throat> okay. Um yeah, I'm kind of surprised at how good it was. I mean, it's pretty simple. You know, it's just uh, like an old school classic FPS game where you just run around and kill all the enemies. And um, well, actually, it wasn't that simple because there were a lot of like puzzles and stuff, and uh, trying to figure out where to go. I guess that was one of the most annoying things is I, I would get lost a lot, but. When I go back and edit, and I'm looking around, there's like certain things that I notice. Like, there's... Um... What the heck is that? There were like... Certain things on the walls that might like... Act as kind of like landmark type things. So you kind of know where you are. Or maybe it's pointing you in the right direction. But playing through the game, I, I just... I couldn't really tell too much uh, I got lost a lot and uh, it was kind of annoying but it also wasn't bad um, let's revisit the gateway all right so I'm gonna see if I can do this without having to okay good I wasn't sure if it was gonna make me like redo a lot of stuff so if we go over here, there's some water, there's some vines, here we go. Portal to question marks? So this is the uh, secret level. We'll go and play through this, because why not? Um, so yeah, overall, the game was pretty fun. It was kind of annoying getting lost a lot. But that's just because I'm not the most observant. Um, ouch. But I did like it. You know, it's just that old school classic FPS feeling game. Retro graphics. You know, it's, um, it was pretty good. For the most part. A couple levels there that I didn't really care for. Um, the one with the water, like the balls of water, those... That level wasn't too great, but it wasn't terrible. I would say the... The level that was super dark, that, um... The one with all the creepy enemies, I, I didn't like that one. That was the only level I didn't really care for. Or... It's the only level I didn't really like. Because it's just like... <laughs> it was too creepy and it was pretty annoying and very easy to get lost and I couldn't see anything also so uh, yeah that's pretty much that um, but other than that you know playing the game was fun I like the different weapons and stuff however I do wish that oh no So, I'm gonna wait for it to, like, do that. Oh, that was too early. Oh! Oh, I almost had it! 
I was so close. Damn, that was really good. Unfortunate. Oh, that was that was bad. That was a bad jump. <laughs> All right. And it's so hard to talk about stuff and play at the same time. Oh, that's not going to work. I do wish there was like more of a Damn it. I wish there was more of like a of weakness system or something. You know, where certain weapons do more damage against certain enemies. That type of thing. That would have been cool. Because it felt like I could use pretty much any weapon and it didn't really matter. I mean, obviously some situations were better. Uh, for a certain weapon. What happens if I die here? I just have to do everything over again, don't I? Damn it, why do I keep doing that? Yep. Okay. So, um... Yeah, uh... It would have been cool if enemies had weaknesses to certain weapons. Because it's like most of the time I was just using whatever did, uh, well, most of the time I was using the, uh, the crystal thing. Um. I don't know what the point of this is. Most of the time I would use the crystal thing, I would use the, uh, staff against flying enemies because I didn't really have to aim that well. Um, if there was, like, a large group of enemies... Then I would just use the, uh, the Eternum thing. Just take them all out in one shot. But it's like, some of the weapons, it's, it felt like there was no reason to use them. You know, there's no reason to use the, uh, the sword that much. That thing moves slower than this one, it does. Where did my jump go? Oh, that was bad. And the sword basically felt felt useless. Oh man. I mean I was using it quite a bit in the beginning of the game. I think I should just save here. not patient enough. There we go. Yeah, I think this way. Um. Yeah, the sword, the trident. I mean, the trident was useful sometimes, but not really. Um. The planet thing had its uses, but towards the end of the game there it was like, like why not just use the crystal thing? Also the swimming physics in this game just is kind of annoying, because you have to use your mouse to tell you like where to go, you can't just jump out of the water. You have to point up so that you have, you know, speed going up. Stupid fish. Wh what in the heck? What is this? Oh my god, dude. We John Clan. 
What the heck was that? That was so weird. And that's it. That's the end of the secret level. Wow. Collector, Explorer, Killer, All Out, Scholar, Hardcore. Uh, I didn't do the, uh, the time, but you know what? Who cares? The only time I'll find all the secrets is when there's none. Alright, so that was interesting. <laughs> kind of funny. Welcome back, champion. Alright, so that's the secret level. And now we are done with this game. Um, so yeah, like I said, overall it was pretty fun. Um, I like that there were different weapons. I don't like that, you know, there was like two of each weapon type. You know, there's two blue weapons, there's two green weapons. Um, well, actually the orange and pink only had one. But, um, yeah. I don't know, it's like, between the staff and the trident, I would have chosen the staff most of the time. Between the sword and the crystal thing, I would choose a crystal thing. It was kind of like, felt kind of pointless. The heck? Whatever. Um. Yeah, it just felt... Like, uh, certain weapons outclass the others, and you could just use that. Um, most of the enemies weren't, like, super annoying, but they could be. But can I go to the main menu? I don't know. Oh, here we go. So, ray tracing feature level. Well, I don't have a graphics card that can ray trace, so. We could go here. Actually, no, I'm not sure. Can I save this? I forgot. Create a new save. Today is November 4th. Okay. Whoops. Do this. Give you something to look at while I talk. Normally I would I would do this like after I'm done recording. So that I can actually uh you know talk about whatever. But I kinda just want wanna get this done in uh one go. So I don't know which one we'll go to. This is basically just horde mode. You kill as many enemies as possible. Pretty much it. Fight waves of enemies. Not... Not that difficult to understand. I did play this, like, first when I uh, first started the game to do like test recording stuff and god I sucked but anyway see it's like right now I wish I had my staff because I know that would help take out these uh, harpies or whatever a little bit faster But yeah, most of the enemies weren't, like, too bad. There were some annoying, annoying enemies, mostly in that dark level, that creepy level. Those were probably the, the worst enemies in the game. The spiky balls, the ones that shoot lasers. I didn't really care for them. Not a big fan. But you know what, it's not that bad. But I really just love how, like, fast-paced this game is. You know, it's just like, constantly moving, just shoot. I'll tell you, it's like... 
it's good for like getting used to aiming with the mouse and keyboard, you know, kind of learn the strafe patterns and everything. Like I think this would be a good first PC game, possibly. On an easier difficulty though. Because it can get kind of overwhelming, but yeah, it's not too bad. I like it. It's fun, it's enjoyable. The parkour works well because you have very good control of your character. Like if I drop down here, I can still move around in the air. I get stuck in a corner. So yeah, it's a um, pretty good game. Pretty good game. Pretty surprised that I enjoyed it so much. I like it. Oh, here's this thing. You can probably learn like where all the weapons spawn and then you know, make it easier. Like I said, the only thing I wish that um, there's some sort of like weakness system for the enemies so that it's like, oh, I see this guy, I'm gonna pull out this weapon. Because most of the time it's just like, eh, it doesn't matter what, whatever I have will work. See those, those enemies are annoying, these balls. Don't like them. They're they're creepy looking and they're pretty annoying to deal with. Ultra kill. Wow, ultra kill. Cool. Also, I think there's like a chance system in terms of like when you do extra damage with your thing. See, like when I use a trident, sometimes they'll get electrocuted and chain the attack to everybody else. I don't know how to do that intentionally. I really don't. But, you know... For the most part, everything kind of feels the same after a while, which isn't like a terrible thing. I mean, I'm not... There's not really much you can do to make everything feel unique, but... You know, you have all the weapons at the beginning of the game, basically, and then... Those are the weapons used for the entirety of the game. And it can get kind of boring after a while. So maybe if they spread out like how you unlock the weapons, that might help. Um, I don't know, maybe in the first level you get to unlock... You get to unlock the staff and the sword and then... Maybe you go to the next world, and then you get to unlock the uh, the trident. I don't think that's how it worked in this game. I could be wrong, though. But it did feel like there was no, like, progression system in place. Oh no, I'm gonna die. 
I guess that's one of the downsides of this game. Re no real progression. Um, you're kind of just using the same weapons for the entire game. At least there's different enemies. Can't hit them. <laughs> yeah, the... Even though there was really no progression, at least... Like, everything changed once in a while. It wasn't like the same level over and over again. I mean, the structure was kind of similar throughout the game. You know, three levels and then a boss fight. But at least they all felt different. That's the main thing. I'm staying alive this long. I should be dead. Wow. I can't believe this. Yeah, it would have been nice if there was like a level up system or... Oh, I don't know. That was too bad. Alright. So, um... Yeah, it would have been nice to have... Something to keep the game fresh. I mean, the level designs were different enough, and the enemies were different enough throughout the game, where it didn't really feel like it got super old, but using the same weapons over and over again, it kind of did. But that's pretty much the only issue I had with the game. Um, well, that and the, the confusing <laughs> level layouts. Yeah, I, I didn't like getting lost all the time, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, I did. But, you know, that's just... Uh, if I play through it again, I'll probably be able to get through it. Uh, faster, more efficiently. Um, it won't be too bad. Uh, how do I get out of here? There we go. I'll just walk around here. So, um, yeah, I think the game took me what, like, nine to ten hours to finish and I didn't find all the secrets I didn't find or I didn't kill all the enemies and like a hundred percent the game I heard that would take like 20 to 30 hours but I, I don't want to do that but anyway overall I I enjoyed this game you know I like the classic FPS graphics and feeling you know it's kind of like old school doom i guess but with like up updated controls because i think in old school doom you would just move horizontally and then you'd strafe like this there's really no jumping there was no looking up and down <laughs> but uh yeah this was interesting and it's not even really an FPS because there's no guns, it's just, you know, it's a fantasy FPS. A dark fantasy FPS, where you get to use magic and cool weapons like that. And the game looked pretty good too, even though the graphics were kind of pixely because it's a it's supposed to be retro looking. Um, it still looked pretty good, and it ran well, which is the most important thing. Um, the only problem I had was with 
trying to figure out the shadows and post-processing stuff because if you mess with that it can make the game look too bright or it can make it look too dark so there was a lot of trial and error there but I think eventually having you know high shadows and then no post-processing probably looks the best uh, because you can actually see but anyway the game just looked good it ran well and it was fun it was just nice to play this old school type of FPS game because I didn't really get to play these types of games when I was younger. Uh, I didn't really get into FPS games until I was like 11 or 12. And I didn't get into PC gaming until I was like 17 or 18. Like I was a senior in high school. So that was like, what, 10 years ago at this point? <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, I never got to play these types of games. So playing this was a fun experience. And uh, I'd highly recommend playing it. The game's not that expensive on Steam. Um, I definitely think it's worth buying. There's also other games similar to this. Um, but I can't really think of them off the top of my head right now. But I wouldn't be opposed to playing some other retro style looking games. That would be fun. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah. Overall, pretty fun game. I enjoyed it. I mean, it just feels like a classic FPS experience where, you know, you just run through a level, you try to kill as many enemies as possible, you do some parkour, and you do, uh, some puzzle solving. And even though it was kind of annoying to get stuck in certain areas because, you know, things get confusing, it was still a lot of fun, and like I said, I'd highly recommend it. Really enjoyed this game, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll play some more. Um, you also get Horde Mode, which is kind of cool. I guess that would be more of like a warm-up type thing, but um, yeah. This would be a fun game to just play whenever you're in the mood for an FPS game. And so I've seen a speedrun of it, and it looks pretty fun. It looks like you can break the game quite a bit, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that is going to be it for this playthrough. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and uh, let me know what you thought of the videos or the game in the comments. And if you want to see more Let's Plays and playthroughs, you can subscribe to the channel. But uh, yeah, that is going to be it. So again, overall, pretty good game. I had fun with it, and that'll be it. So, thank you for watching, and hopefully I will talk to you all later.